I received this tumbler press from GoToCraft. Let's check it out. Hello everyone and welcome to Crafting with Delonda. It's me again, Delonda. And thank you so much for joining me today. I received this auto tumbler press from GoToCraft to test it out and I'm going to tell you exactly how I feel about it. I have already wrapped my tumblers. I've already printed and sublimated. I've already, already done all the things because this tutorial is not about how to print or how to size. It's about how to use this tumbler press and I'm going to show you. Now, at the end of this video, if you find it helpful, please consider liking the video, subscribing to my channel and turning on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week. Now, without further ado, let's get started. Hopefully you are following me on Instagram or you are in my Facebook group and you've already had a chance to see my unboxing reel. This would normally be the time where I would share the materials that I'm using. However, I'm not going to do that. All of the materials that I'm using for this process will be linked below the video. Now let's start to look at some of the features of the GoToCraft Auto Seamless Tumbler Press. Let's first start to look at the top of the GoToCraft Auto Seamless Tumbler Press. There are two main buttons on the top, the start and stop button. And then there is also the power button is on the back of the machine as well as that's where you plug it in and there's a handle for when you need to carry it. I've powered it on and now this is what the display looks like. In order to change any of the settings, you first have to press the set option and that is where you start to make any changes to the settings that are um, available on the Tumblr press. Now let's look at how to navigate going between Fahrenheit and Celsius. You will press the set option until you see the LOY displayed on the screen. And then you would press the up arrow until you get to the number 88. You will press set again and continue to press set until you see the C and the F on the, on the display. Once you see the C and the F, the C of course is for Celsius and the F is for Fahrenheit. You would make a selection and then once you've made your selection, you would press the set option again. I'm going to keep mine on Fahrenheit. Now let's start to look at some of the other settings that are included with this GoToCraft Auto Seamless Tumblr Press. Everything in the manual is pretty self-explanatory. What I'm doing right now is heating up the auto tumbler press in order to sublimate the first 20 ounce tumbler. According to the manual and according to the sticker that's on front of the machine, you are supposed to heat the tumbler press up with a sublimation blank inside. So right now I just have one of their blank sublimation tumblers inside while it's heating up. As you can see, it does heat up very fast. This video is not sped up in any way at all. Once it reaches the desired temperature, the tumbler press will automatically open, indicating it's time for me to go ahead and place the tumbler that I plan to sublimate inside. One thing I was quite impressed with about this auto seamless tumbler press is that once I choose the setting, because there are four settings on the top, once I selected option one, all I needed to do was prepare my tumbler and insert it into the machine. As you can see, the temperature for setting number one is 365 degrees Fahrenheit for 50 seconds. I'm going to press start and the tumbler will start to count down. The tumbler press will start to count down. And once it reaches zero, it will open up, rotate, and then it will count down again from 50 seconds. I did not have to do anything. I didn't have to think about it. It does not close all the way in the front, but I'm not worried about that at all because of the way that it does the 180 degree rotation. I'm slowing the video down right here so you can see this rotation in action. Look at this. You can see, I don't know if you can tell, but there is steam coming from the tumbler, but look at the rotation. 
and it's going to close up again and start again. I'm going to let this tumbler finish and once it does, I will insert the 30 ounce tumbler. And when that one finishes, I will insert the 15 ounce mug. Just repeating the process and following the settings according to the type of sublimation blank I'm using. All right. So what I'm going to do now is do the second mug. So here's the second one. I have it taped right here. I'm going to put it with the tape on this side. And this is the 30 ounce tumbler. So I'm gonna press start. It is a pretty snug fit around it. So I'm impressed with that. Now I'm going to change the preset. I'm going to go to ceramic mug, which is preset number four. I'm going to press set, and I'm going to go up to 400 degrees. Press set again, and I'm going to make sure that it goes to 200 seconds, so that's right. And then I'm gonna press set again. Pressure, 45, press set again, 200. Go to ceramic mug, number four. I'm gonna put the mug in with the handle right here. Press start. And press stop. Turn it this way a little bit. So I feel like it's not getting it right here in the front. I feel like it's not getting it right there in the front. All right, it's time for the reveal. Let's see what we have. Let's start with the 20 ounce tumbler first. This is one of their 20 ounce tumblers. Now this one I did with my niece's name. Her name is Minka. And I'm sure just like my name, she'll never find her name on anything unless it's personalized. So I just wanted to put her name on a tumbler and I did my printing from Silhouette Studio. I have a full tutorial on that process. Uh, let me grab my scissors. Okay. Aww. That is so cute. Oh my gosh. This is the cutest. Oh my gosh. Look at how cute this is. Oh my goodness. Look at how cute that is. I am in love with this. Oh my goodness. This is so cute. <laughs> it is so cute. I think I was supposed to put the eggs the other way around, but it's okay. It's so cute. Okay, so there's that. Let's look at the mug. I'm I'm not, I don't think the mug did well, but we'll see. Okay. 
It's still really, really cute. Okay, so it got cut off right there on the side, but it's still very, very cute. So I, I would need to figure this part out, like where do you put the handle, but I think it's very pretty. I think it's very pretty and I love it. I, I love it. I love this. I think it's very pretty. All right, and let's look at the very last one, which was the 30 ounce with the, you didn't see the images beforehand, but this one has an eagle. Ooh, it's looking really, really good. It's looking really, really good. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, look at that. That is so pretty. Look at that. I love it. It is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. Ooh. Okay, so this side looks great. This side looks great. Let's see if the other side looks great. Ooh, Franzi. Okay, so that was the issue is that I printed too big the first time, I think. And I did not make sure the handle was touching the knob before I press start. Okay, so let me give you my final thoughts about this auto seamless tumbler press by GoToCraft. Let me give you my opinions about this now that we have finished with the full unboxing and I've sublimated the tumblers. This is the first tumbler that I sublimated. This is their brand, the Go-To Craft brand of 20 ounce skinny tumblers. I made this one for my niece, Minka. And I love it. I think it's gorgeous. It's a full wrap of sublimation. Their tumblers do come with the lid and it also comes with the piece that goes on the bottom and it comes with the metal straws. And they do also come individually boxed. So that's a nice feature. Um, also, this was the second tumbler that I sublimated. This is a 30 ounce straight tumbler. And um, this is not their brand. This is a different brand, but I will leave this one linked below the video so you can check it out if you're interested in purchasing some of these. It's a 30 ounce glitter tumbler. Also comes with a lid and a metal straw. Does not come with the piece that goes on the bottom. Okay, so this is a full wrap. All right, and then the first mug that I sublimated was this one. And I did get ghosting. I think I printed the image too big. And I also had not really read through the full user manual to know that I needed to make sure the handle was touching the handle positioner before I um, press start on the to sublimate the mug. So when I did it the second time, I did make sure of that. I used the size um, suggestion that's in Cricut Design Space for this 15 ounce bevel, beveled mug and I got excellent results. So I'm very excited. I think this one is so, so, so cute. And I don't even love gnomes like that, but I love this. I think it's gorgeous. All right. So let me tell you what I don't love or I'm not very fond of about this tumbler press. And I'll tell you the things that I do love because there are a lot of things that I love about it. The one thing that I don't love about this tumbler press and I'm just going to be honest with you is the weight of it. I do feel like it's on the heavier end. I do in comparison to some of the other tumbler presses that I have. This one is heavier. I'm not sure of the exact weight, but you can check on Amazon for yourself and see, look at the specifications for the weight. I'm not very fond of that. Um, I can pick it up, but it is on the heavier end. It does have a handle back here in the back for you to lift it. I'm assuming that's what you would use to carry this, um, but mm, that's not my favorite thing about it. But let me tell you the things that I love. I love. I love, love with big hearts. I love the fact that this does a 180 degree rotation for your tumblers. So whenever you're sublimating anything that doesn't have a handle, it will automatically rotate 
on its own. I love that. I haven't ever tried a tumbler press like that. I have a lot of tumbler presses here in my craft room and none of them do that. Okay, so that's very impressive. I love the fact that it comes with presets. So when I sublimated this tumbler, I didn't have to change the settings or think about anything in order to sublimate this tumbler. I was just able to put it right in and I didn't have a problem. It does have an auto off feature. So if you don't use the tumbler press within 15 minutes, it will automatically power off. I think that's fantastic. I love the fact that it comes in multiple colors. Purple is one of the colors that it does come in. I know there's another color that I'm missing. Um, you can also check on Amazon for that. Um, I love the fact that, um, you know, I'm able to go up to 30 ounces. So I did a 15 ounce mug. I also tried um, an 11 ounce mug. I know it'll fit in here. This is one of those 11 ounce color changing mugs. And I know it'll fit in here with no problem. So. Um, I love that. This is intended to be used with straight, you know, mugs and tumblers only. You cannot do any tapered um, tumblers or anything like that in here. And this heating element is not intended to be um, changed out. So I wouldn't recommend this if you think that you might want to go into doing tapered tumblers. But if you are all about getting into doing 20 ounce, which is the most popular 20 ounce straight tumblers, and you don't want to have to be worried about rotating the tumbler halfway through and trying to remember what the setting was, I think this is a fantastic addition to any craft room. I'm very excited to continue using this and just learning more about it. I think that not having to worry about the settings, like just set, like set it and forget it. Just set it one time and to be able to sublimate and walk away and not be worried about rope. I love that. I love that. All right. If there are any questions that I did not answer for you, make sure you leave them listed in the comments below. Let me know if you plan to purchase one of these, if you're going to try it out. I do know that as of today, today is March Today is March 28th, 28th, 2024. There is a $60 off coupon on Amazon today. I'm not sure how long that coupon is going to be in effect. I'm not sure how long it's going to last. But right now, I checked right before uploading this video, I did see that there was a coupon online. All right. Um, hopefully, I have answered any questions you have about it. The user manual is very user friendly. I didn't feel like I was confused about anything. This one is 110 volts if you're worried about that or if you're concerned about that. All right. Um, hopefully, I've answered all your questions. Hopefully, you have found this helpful. If you did, please consider liking the video, subscribing to my channel, and turning on the bell for notifications because... I do upload new content every single week. Thank you so much for joining me today. And thanks for watching. Bye.